So T. Koshi from ONDC, can you just explain the power of ONDC in today's day and age in context of India? The big impact ONDC is going to make is democratization of commerce. It means it will give equal opportunity to every seller to make their catalog visible to the ocean of 1 billion buyers without being filtered out based on somebody else whims and fancy, but based on a buyer's choice of what they would like to buy. And that is a big difference it's going to make. And when you say every seller, what, what do you mean by seller? Is it anybody who has a product or service to make available to somebody who wants to buy that? or take that as a service. Now, if, if you're not, if you, so that's that's a giant market in India. We have lots and lots of sellers outside of India. Can this framework be applied to the rest of the world in some sense? This framework can definitely become relevant to the whole world. In fact, we understand that, uh, as you're aware, that India is the president of G20 this year. And this is going to be one of the items that probably may be showcased and discussed because of the far-reaching impact it has and the fact that this is trying to address a problem which is not just in a developing country like India, but it's there in every country. So we believe that this can act as a reference for many countries to use. And as you would know, the whole protocol that we have developed is open source under Creative Commons. So what are your goals for 2023? Is to popularize it, make it work. We are just in the beginning, so we need to build momentum with larger participation. It's a journey. It's not magic. It's not abracadabra. Mm. Thank you.